Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly add products to a drop-down menu in your Shopify store online from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple and without any coding or Shopify configuration involved or know-how, the easiest way to actually do this is with a third-party app called eComposer. So I'll be showing you guys just how to get that. So the first thing that you need to do is you wanna make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account as an administrator. So as you guys can see, here's what the dashboard looks like. And obviously I have a dummy store set up just for the purpose of this video. And the idea here is we wanna get access to the Shopify app store. So there are a couple of ways to get there. You can either click on the apps button right here, click on the drop down, and select app and sales channel. So we're going to click on this. And from here, you want to click on Shopify app store. So once you guys click on this, it'll redirect you to this page right here, pulling up all of the compatible files or tools that you can integrate with Shopify. So from here, you want to type down eComposer. So here we are. Uh, I, I actually already have this installed, so it's this one here. And as you can see, it has the badge for built for Shopify. So what this means is that all of the functions here will um, integrate seamlessly with your store. So when I go to click on it, it'll take you to the store page. And normally, uh, if you guys don't have this installed, it would this button right here would say install. So simply click on that. And uh, right after that, um, you would want to choose the plan that you want to opt for. So I'm currently using the free plan. And from here, you want to click on open app. And it will redirect you to this page right here. Let's actually wait for it to load, which is the site builder for eComposer. So here we are. And the cool thing about this is all of your online pages or themes for your online store will be integrated into this third party app as well. So um, from here, you want to click on start building or normally um, your themes or your stores would be listed here if you have one already created. So I'm going to click on start building and let's just do one from blank or from, from scratch. Let's do a blank template click on next. Give your, uh, give your page a title. So let's do um, store page, for example. And we're going to choose theme. And by default, it's set to Dawn. Click on Start Building. And it'll pull up the window for where you can create your page. So from here, you guys would want to add a new section. So from here, let's actually do one for a store. Wait for it to load. So I guess this, which one is the... Actually, let's do one from scratch. So let's do elements. And from here, the idea is to drag the product element. So if we do product, we can do product box or product tab. So um, either way is really fine. So let's do product box, for example, drag this here to this element. And here you actually get to configure how you want this to come out. So for content, you can choose, um, uh, you can add a picture to it or you can use a preset or whatever. And under design, you can add a box shadow and so on and so forth, or add new attributes to this product right here. So it's actually pretty cool. You can even change um, how this looks as well as um, what you want the product to be. And the thing is, it actually integrates with all of your Shopify products. So as you can see, if I click on change, um, it'll, this will normally pull up a list of all of your registered products for your account. So here, you, so what this means is that um, all the effects carry over from sizes, color, and so on and so forth. So here you can see under advanced, you can do a lot of things to it as well as the variations for your product. And yeah, that's how you guys do it. Once you've done all of that, simply hit save, publish, and you're done. So yeah, thank you all for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.